Strategic deals are back on the cards for India Inc. And the steel sector is one where significant buoyancy is spurring activity. Ferro Alloys is looking to bring on board strategic partners. Who are the interested parties? Here's an exclusive story. Ashish Saraf, Joint Managing Director of FACOR Group, is a busy man these days. He just returned from an overseas trip trying to raise money for his power ventures. But that's not all. He's also getting ready to negotiate with strategic steelmakers who are eyeing his group's flagship, Ferro Alloy Corporation. The management in an exclusive interview to NDTV Profit did accept that the hunt for a strategic partner has begun. NDTV Profit also learns that Ferro Alloy Corporation has given the mandate to Ernst & Young to scout for a strategic partner. Indian players like Vedanta, JSW, Tata Steel, Amtec Auto have been approached. Preliminary feelers have also been sent to global players like Bow Steel and POSCO. Ferro Alloys Corporation, we own 75% of the company and 25% is liquid. So we are always looking at a right valuation. If we can get a strategic partner, whether it's Tata Steel, it could be Bow Steel, who requires a lot of ferrochrome, it could be POSCO, who buys a lot of ferrochrome from India. Investors cheered the move, the Ferro Alloy stock hitting upper circuit after NDTV profit broke the story. Even though the promoters on camera denied that they are looking at selling a majority stake in two of their group companies, Ferro Alloy Corporation and Facor Alloys, sources say the promoters are open to a complete exit as well. But why is Ferro Alloy so attractive for strategic players? The same reason why a Sessa Goa or a Dempo has been for Anil Agarwal's Vedanta, raw materials. For Ferro Alloy Corporation, its chrome ore mining complex in Orissa, a key raw material for all steelmakers, is what all players would want to get their hands on. That's why sources say bids for Ferro Alloy Corporation are expected to come in at 40 to 45 rupees per share, a handsome 50% premium to the current market price, valuing the entire promoter holding close to 600 crore rupees. So what will the Sarafs be doing if they exit the ferrochrome business altogether? Well, power could be the next big frontier. A 100 megawatt unit will be ready by December. Another 300 megawatt facility is coming up in Orissa. A solar unit will be ready in Rajasthan. So clearly at this point in time, all the extra cash will come handy to expand this new portfolio. In Mumbai, Arijit Barman for NDTV Profit.